Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm actually starting this vlog where I've ended the vlog with Bruno, my mum's dog. But anyway, guys, what do we have to tell them? Do we have to tell them that we forgot to start start the vlog and I'm having to start it now? I'm starting the vlog because I forgot to start it and I just randomly started it. Um, it's actually going to go into a clip, oh my god, of me. Um, I think I'm going to the cinema and I'm saying, saying a really embarrassing story how I actually called my driver and I said something I can't remember and I was really embarrassed. But anyway, I hope you guys all love this vlog. It's a really, really casual one today, but I'm in a lot of pain right now. You'll have to wait till the end of this vlog to find out why. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a little more formal intro. Do you know what I mean? I feel like me just picking up the camera and talking gibberish just isn't quite cutting it really is it yeah hope you all enjoy the vlog and let's get into it guys possibly the most embarrassing thing has just happened to me and i can't quite get over it so my i don't know how that's just happened my phone was in this bag like that and i was holding it like that because we're all gone cinema night and i was just getting ready to like leave the house and i was basically just talking about my upset stomach <laughs> i've had an upset stomach today okay and you know i'm just gonna go as far as say upset stomach but i was actually saying worse things than that and the bloody driver oh my god so basically there's this driver nearby and i sometimes use her to drive to like the airports and stuff like that and i've just called her pickpocketed her and i was singing i'm just a skater boy she said see you later boy and i could hear something in my pocket going huh i could hear it and i just thought that's really weird and then picked up my camera to like fill you in on what i'm about to do which is go to the cinema and i heard boop boop you know like someone hangs up on you i was like what no. i am embarrassed god knows what she heard i should probably message her and say sorry about that but oops anyway ladies and gents a bit traumatized what just happened because i don't actually know what she heard but it's what it is i'm also getting darker and darker um but we are going to the cine what cine what i need to turn this on so you can see me there you go Anyway, we're gonna go watch Cocaine Bear, but apparently it's a real life story where um, people were smuggling drugs to God knows where and on an airplane and the drugs fell from the sky and the bear ate it. But to be honest, I thought it was gonna be a really lighthearted movie. So I agreed on like coming to watch it. And then I've just looked at the trailer and it's a bit like, borderline horror so not sure what that's all about but here we are on the way to the cinema world why do i keep saying that it's literally not a cine world that we're going to i don't know why i keep saying that every man every man why do i keep saying cine world every man is the best by the way you literally get sofas and you get food and you get drinks and you get really nice like place to lie another really nice cinema which i would recommend to you all is og and lux don't think there's seat service but the chairs are actually nicer and i think it's cheaper that's the thing about every man it's, it's not cheap do you know what i mean but it does do the job it is it is what it says on the can it's a very nice cinema with very nice seats and very nice table <laughs> service also, I don't know who I am, who I think I am, walking around and strutting about the place in bloody Adidas running trainers when I literally just haven't even been to the gym, like, and like gym leggings. Like, I am that girl today that just has worn gym wear and just hasn't gone to the gym. Do you know what I mean? You know what I have done? I've eaten chocolate and I've had Crave and I've had these really nice cracker things. But anyway. Hey, hi, I'm rambling on now, so I will see you all at the cinema. <laughs> cinema! Hi, guys! So, I am now on the way to Dancing on Ice. I'm actually picking my manager up at the nearest train station. 
which I believe is Hemel Hampstead if I'm saying that correctly which is only an hour and a half away which isn't that bad at all I was going to wear it orange all in one but tried it on loved it but it kept falling down at the front and i think it's because i'm not exactly don't have the biggest boobs in the world but then again i don't know whether having big boobs would help that situation i'm not sure but anyway lovely day it's 2 32 and i'm gonna get hopefully fingers crossed if i get to hemel Hampstead, all okay i should be there for four i am literally so excited to watch that's gonna ice i obviously watched it when liberty was on it which was such a great experience there was hardly anyone in the audience then because sorry this lighting is just all over the place but we're just gonna have to do there was no one in the audience really apart from obviously the people from dancing on ice the other contestants the people that they brought and that was because of covid but obviously covid is basically all done now apparently there's a big audience and dave my manager said that honestly it's such a good experience and he said it's a really good vibe so i'm really really excited to go sunday night which is great it's such a good one to go and see live because a it's sunday night so what on earth else will you be doing on a sunday night other than lying on your sofa watching tv or going to the cinema and it's at 6 p.m which is just like amazing so it's such a great one to see live you know when sometimes you see shows live and it's really really late at night and you're like tired and it's a bit of ag coming back because you're so tired it, this is just not like that it'll be done well it starts at 6 30 and i think it'll all be done by 7 38 and then i'm going to drive home yeah so i am really really excited to go that's it really i've got myself a whoa what on earth are they doing that was really weird that he just did that no was it the guy in front of me like didn't indicate and went right but then he like halfway went right like still on the other side of the road like just about to go into the other road to go right and then just then and then just decide that he wants to go left again to carry on on the road that i'm on what anyway i've got myself my really really cute starbucks turquoise glitter flask with my black americano in it i'm a gal that either loves black americanos like just literally has black coffee which i know people probably watching this like uh yeah so i either love black americanos just like black coffee your average black coffee or i like it all singing all dancing with soy milk sugar free caramel syrup grande from starbucks do you know what i mean i'm, I'm like no in between never been a frappuccino girl though which is a bit weird because i literally love starbucks so much i'm just not I just feel like frappuccinos just don't do it like i want loads of coffee like i want to taste the coffee i want to feel like i'm having coffee and i feel like when you have a frappuccino it, it just it, it's not like you're having coffee like you don't feel like oh, i'm gonna get a coffee bars of this do you know what i mean you just think it's really tasty obviously that is coffee in there but that's just like a brain thing but anyway so i'm going to carry on on this road all the way the good thing about living in brighton is that there's literally just one straight road to london pretty much not many turns just up the a23 and then i don't know what the other roads are called but yeah pretty pretty easy you know what is really really annoying me though so far on this car journey the fact that i've mentioned this before on my vlogs and I, I just feel like i vent to you guys because i don't know who else to vent to now but the leads so i've literally i'm not even joking i will show you but i'm driving and i don't really want to get in a car accident but the leads I've, I've got about 10 leads like charging leads in my car right for my phone and none of them work with my phone with apple carplay and i would say it's my phone's fault but i've had a new phone since because i actually smashed my screen and because i've got apple care that was weird i basically like scratched the front of my camera 
and so I couldn't, you know, me like TikTok out. I couldn't do like TikToks or even just like take a selfie, like anything to do with the front camera. So I was like, right, I need to get that fixed. So I went to the Apple shop. I'm really going off on a tangent here, but I went to the Apple shop and my phone wasn't smashed at all. It literally just had like one scratch, but like it was quite a dent in the um, front camera. Like you wouldn't probably be able to see it unless you like you turn your camera on and you want to take a selfie and you realize it's bad quality. And the woman was like, because there's no physical damage or it doesn't stop you from using your phone, we can't do it with Apple Care. And I was like, that doesn't really make sense. And she was like, well, I mean, like we usually only, Apple Care only works with like smashes and like if you physically can't use your phone or if it like stops you from using it the way to, to its full capacity. And I was like, well, it sort of does. Anyway, she said, oh yeah, fair enough. And then anyway, fix the phone. But that, I've just gone on a complete other tangent. But anyway, I got a new phone. Oh, she didn't fix it. That's what I'm trying to say. She didn't fix it. She gave me a new phone, just like a replaced phone, which was just all a bit much for a little scratch. But anyway, I got my new phone and for ages I thought it was my old phone that just didn't like the car. But no, the new phone doesn't like the car either. So I don't know, do I bring it into the car garage? I think I've done that already and they've said there's nothing wrong with USB ports, but I've literally got about five leads here and all it does is just like glitch. And I know when I got my car, Range Rovers do have a bit of a like a thing where lots of people say that they break. And to be honest, I have had like problems with it. Um, one of which being that the engine one day just wasn't working. Oh, 9.1 miles on this road. The engine, I had like an engine light on and they said if I didn't have my warranty from this car, that would have cost me like five, six grand. Like, what? I was like, I'm so happy that I have warranty on this. Well, I don't have warranty anymore, so fingers bloody crossed that nothing happens. I really have got my eyes on like another car, which I am super, super excited about if I get it. But I do think there is a long wait for it. I need, to, I need to go basically into the car garage and see what I should do with this car. I don't know whether to sell it. I was really lucky that I actually bought this car outright. So I'm not in a lease, I'm not in a finance. Like there's no monthly payments for this car. It's just bought. So hopefully what I'll be able to do is sell this car and then obviously just like use that money to then buy the other car, do you know what I mean? But I say a lot and I don't seem to do a lot because I was saying to you that I really want to buy a house and I viewed a house which I absolutely loved, like loved and just didn't work out because basically apparently it's a really really bad time to buy the mortgage rates, is it mortgage rates? Yeah, interest rates are just so bad like really really bad first time buyers it's just not ideal so i thought you know what i might be chatting absolute garbage right now because i don't really understand any of it but i think if i wait apparently like six months or something it should be good apparently spring is also a really really good time to buy so i might hold off for a couple of months i am lucky because i am 23 so i'm not you know I shouldn't be rushing to buy a house. I'm still quite young, but I just want a house. Like, I just want my own place where I can just, you know, build my own house. Not that I won't build it, but like build the inside as in like decorate it. <laughs> like completely decorate it and go on Pinterest and be like, I want this, I want that. You know, like just that sort of stuff. Right, I've only got an hour and 15 minutes left now, so I guess I will carry on driving, put on my songs. I will see you all when I get to Hemel Hampstead or even the ITV studios. I think they're in, oh, no, it's not in there. I think they're in Bovington, so God knows where that is, but I've been there before, somewhere near London, I think. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go, bye. So, now with M, picked her up from 
Hamels Heath, this way. <laughs> oh. Where to? No, studio. Yeah, we're, we're production. Yeah, we've been told to go sit down because um, they're doing some pre record something. We're repping the Joey. Team Joey. Team Joey. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've apparently got to keep these stickers on until we get set down. So we are walking to the studio. The studio is that massive green thing. This is exactly where um, where it was last time. This is exactly where it was because Em said she used to come with her mum. It definitely wasn't here. Definitely wasn't here. I really can't remember it being here. It's obviously a new new location. But anyway, it's bloody freezing. <laughs> like I actually feel like the temperature has just oh dropped no. completely. I actually need a wee as well, so yeah, yeah. so I don't really know what we're gonna do. I'm guessing let's sit down, get our seats. Yeah, let's get a grasp of what's going on first, and then and then go. Oh my god, it's freezing. I'm so cold. Show, and then uh, then we'll let you know as we are going live. Don't forget to download the app if you want to vote for your favourites. Oh yeah, come on Dave, get involved. Come on Dave, get okay, involved. Right. So this will be... <laughs> the limelight. So, he's yeah. standing here. So guys, we've watched everyone. Joey's our fave. Dave, isn't Joey our fave? He's our fave. <laughs> So guys, the show is all done. Yeah. They're all so on the charger, drinking the Red Bull because I need to stay awake because I've got to drive back to Brighton. Hour and a half or hour and 40 minutes, not sure. Drop them off at the station. Are you going to be okay doing that? Cheers to Red Bull. Another day, another dollar. I am getting in my car. Done my hair, done my makeup. Done an Estrid ad, um, which was lovely. Love an Estrid ad. Get in the bath, shave, it's great. And now I'm gonna drive to the train station, go to London because I have a TikTok live, which I am really excited about. Because I just feel like I haven't done a TikTok, oh, I feel like I haven't done a TikTok live in a very, very long time. So it'd be nice to do one. Also have a meeting with TikTok because, ladies and gents, I have something really, really quite exciting going on in my life the lux range is going on tiktok shop which means all of my beautiful subscribers and followers can well either be gifted the lux range bits and they can make tiktok videos on it and attach it and they can get a commission from whatever they sell i think we're going to put the commission as 10 percent which in my eyes is a large amount the lux range as many of you guys would know if you've looked on the website already it's not it's not a really 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 cheap brand obviously i aim to get the quality amazing and for that i try and get it down as much as possible but obviously some items are more expensive than others however in this sort of situation that helps because obviously if you've got a 70 pound jacket a luxury 70 pound jacket and you link it and someone buys that you will actually get seven pounds basically into your tiktok commissions and you'll be able to withdraw that into your bank account so i mean it's something that i've wanted to do for ages because obviously it means it's like a win-win for both of us and obviously i want you guys to get out of the lux range as much as me and i feel like by doing commissions and you know giving back whatever you guys sell it's great it's it's sort of like i do think commissions is such a good way to do it because it's sort of like whatever you sell you get back obviously with influencers and stuff most of them is not commissions well most of the stuff that i do isn't commissions but it is when it comes to tiktok shop and i don't know what i prefer but obviously i love tiktok shop like i actually love it it's so like rewarding when you look back on your tiktok shop account and you've got more commissions like, i i find that stuff really addictive and really rewarding as well so i'm really really excited to do it i've seen obviously the benefits of it from other companies just from literally me being on the other end of it oh my god how annoying 
On this road there's rail things and the rail things have just gone down and obviously that will take like 10 minutes. It takes ages for the train to go past. But anyway, I am super, super excited about that. I'll obviously let you all know when it's all up and running. I, I think it's up and running now, but we've still got a long way to go. I need to obviously gift influencers. Sometimes you can actually get a free sample, which would be quite good if I do that for some products as well. Really quite excited about that. So I'm gonna have a meeting now. I guess I will see you all when I get to London. I'm running quite early, to be honest. You know what? Love this necklace, but I feel like all the little bits of my hair keep attaching to it and I feel like it's cutting them all off. But anyway, I'm gonna go. Love you all lots. I will see you all in London. I have been gone. I was gonna say welcome back, but no. It's still the same video, but I have been gone for a very, very long time. I actually left off in the car and now I'm back in the car, but it's not even the same week, not the same couple of days. I think it's actually the week after. I'm actually picking up the camera because I'm on the way to get my eyelashes done. The eyelash girl I go to is literally insane. She's called Emily. Hi guys. Oh my Hi God, guys. my camera, my battery is running out. Oh, usual. Uh, Always. I know that it's one of the beauty works women's yeah. day. Where Oh my God, I literally don't even know what's happened. I picked up my camera at the event last night. It ran at a charge. I took some footage on my phone, not loads. When I say footage, I literally mean, I think one clip of Liberty doing a weird. What was she doing? <laughs> I don't know. She's going, hello, my name's Liberty. Oh my God, that was me and I. Yeah, that was Murray as well. And he's now here. We are staying at the Park Plaza. Park Plaza Riverside Hotel. Honestly, I feel like I've got so much to catch you up on. So I haven't picked up my camera in ages. And I thought I'll, I'll vlog tom tomorrow, yesterday. <laughs> what on earth am I going on about? I actually can't vlog. You're you know what? I have zero brain cells today. Like my brain is just no, not, it's not no. clicking inside. There's just nothing there right now. Anyway, picked up the camera yesterday, that was out of charge. Then went to go find the charger, didn't have a charger. Then slept in this morning, left Murray at the airport. At the airport? Because <laughs> you got a plane. You got a plane here today. <laughs> <laughs> at the train station for two and a bit hours. And he was really angry at me. And then... Oh, I wasn't what angry at you. Going on it, I, I would camera. say... Oh yeah, he was pretty livid, but he oh, was, no, no, he was called, past the point. And he called Moody. Yeah. Moody. Moody. I don't like people that sleep fucking in there. She enjoyed it. She <laughs> actually. In. <laughs> she said to me last night, I'll be in that train station, quarter past seven, see if you're not there. Because I was going out for a little single drink. <laughs> oh, no, no. Go I was going to shout that. <laughs> so, anyway, I don't know what on earth is going on with this camera. It's all suddenly going all a bit dark, but oh well. Oh, yeah, um, good, good. I don't like it. Yeah, why is it done there? It's gone really dark. I think I've clicked a button. Oh, there you go. There you go. So now I'm getting my hair done. Love that. I actually did my makeup a few hours ago and I'm getting the, the nick of my makeup, to be honest, guys. Go watch my TikTok and I do loads of like get ready with me's and I say all the products I use, uh, etc. Finish now, wake you up. Oh, okay, Babs. Um, and now we're doing a wet look with my hair. But anyway, I'm going to a Scream oh, 6 premiere. Cool. I feel like I've got so much to say and not enough time to say it because. I need to end this so Mari can finish off the wet look hair. But I'm going to Scream 6 premiere. I'm with Anna Mae. She's over here Hi. doing her makeup. She's wearing a lovely denim two-piece. I love the fact that you're literally doing your makeup on my clothes. I've decided to put my clothes absolutely everywhere. everywhere. I walked into this hotel room and it was like a bomb zone. Mm. Some bombs gone off. Yeah. To be fair though, is that your suitcase? It is quite big over there. Yeah, but everything's in it. I haven't got any room. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, how on earth did you close that? Well, mine? Yeah. I don't know. See, that's really annoying. But anyway, I will carry on doing this. I sound like a popular, popular girl. And I will see you all very soon. Bye. Guys, I am just obsessed with wet looking hair. Vibes. Can we just appreciate this hair and makeup? Well, makeup isn't she, me. But hair. <laughs> Love to big up myself, guys. But hair, I'm sorry. Wet look. Hello. Everyone else. 
Oh. Um, makeup is higher than I and then I touched up a little bit, which I am loving. Yeah. I enjoy. Also, slick back hair as well. Thanks also enjoy. Mari. Anime. Stun. Hair yourself. Yeah, hair makeup, makeup myself. yourself. Which Outfit. PLT. Boobs. Outfit. Stunning. Boobs. Out there. Out. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we are now off to the event. I was just saying to the guys, I absolutely hate watching a movie. I don't know what it is. I can't sit and watch a movie for an hour and a half. I just, that even just gives me anxiety thinking about it. But here we are, past a little fountain. But anyway, I don't really know what else to say, really. Left my phone in the room and then I had to quickly run up and get it. But it's okay. And I think we're going to get there perfect time. I will see you all um, at the event. I think Emma's actually going to be stopping away hi it is pouring it in down with rain well actually no it's not really anymore but i feel like it definitely was because the ground is soaking wet um and as always piccadilly circus is absolutely ramo i feel like there's about a thousand school trips going on right now as well um and life is hectic guys we've just gone into that odium and it's like a full-blown running cinema there's like families going in like ordering popcorn like minding their own business and we're thinking that there's a premiere going on in there and i'm embarrassed like we're just strutting in like this and they're like you okay and we're like where's where's this where's the um premiere and they're like no you're in the wrong odian hunt obviously it's this odian what are we like Thank you. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Guys, premiere's done. We're all chilling outside. It's tea. No, it's not. Yeah, no. Anna May has the same camera as me. Look at the cameras. Hey, Hey. Anna May has the same camera as me because of me. Did you buy yeah. that camera? What camera yeah. is it? I'm going to get the buy same the one. Camera. Sony. Mm. I feel like square. I actually like airbrushes you a little bit. Love you, Paramount. Paramount. Cast me in your next film. Oh, and yeah. her. And Lucinda. <laughs> no, not me. I'm not an actor. Yes, she's she's actress. Guys, I'm going to keep it real. I literally fell. You're probably going to have to blur that out. Oh my god. I, right, I've just had the coil put in no what the wow why is it so painful sorry about this but i'm hungover i'm dehydrated because i'm hungover i feel ill anyway and i was like okay i'm gonna have to just put this coil in because it's non-hormonal and basically, I had the implant put in and it made me gain a lot of weight and it also broke out my skin. I literally was like, get that, get that out of my arm, get that out of my arm, like it needs to get out. And right, so I took that out of my arm. That was a bit of a weird experience. Although it was numb, you can definitely feel someone feeling about in your arm, which is just weird. And then the woman was like, oh, so what, what contraception do you want now? And I was like, anything with no hormones. I don't think my body copes very well with hormones. And she was like, okay, well, the only non-hormonal thing that I have is the non-hormonal coil. Oh my God, I don't feel normal. I actually don't feel normal. I got so hot, so sweaty literally the towel that they put underneath the paper towel was just drenched like actually drenched when i got up the whole experience is just like not for the faint-hearted like genuinely like my mum was like might take a couple of um paracetamols it's just a pinch i was screaming and it's just like, it's just crazy what us girls have to do. Like, I literally find it crazy that literally no boys have to do that. Like, it's very, like, oh my God, no, that was literally so painful. My mum was like, oh, it's just a pinch. No, it's not just a pinch. That was awful. 
I actually can't cope with how I feel right now. I just want to get into bed. I'm really not, like, feeling 100% at all. <sighs> so, yeah. Okay. I'm going to drive home. It's Friday. At my gym place, they've got tennis courts. It's really hard to book in. And we got a tennis court reservation today at 8 p.m. And it was going to be me, my brother, my brother's girlfriend. And I don't actually know who was going to play for me because it was doubles. And I don't have anyone to play for me. I might just go in and watch YouTube. But I actually feel like no one's posting on YouTube. Does anyone get like that? Like, who is actually posting on YouTube? Right, I'm going to into bed i need to just chill out hi guys i am home it's much later on in the day honestly putting the coil like having the coil fitted is not the one it's actually really really not and i think it is really downplayed like by everyone like obviously my mum's not gonna say it's the worst experience of her life is she because she doesn't want me to worry doesn't want me to go there and be like really worried so she just goes oh it's a slight pinch and then obviously the nurses aren't going to be like, it is really, really painful, are they? So they've downplayed it. So the whole time I feel like I've just been downplayed by a load of people. Not in a bad way, just in a way that obviously they don't want me to be like really worried, like, like overthinking it. But oh my God, no, it was like literally the worst pain I've ever experienced in my whole entire life. Yeah, I, I stayed in London last night with Anna Mae and we went to that event. I don't know whether I touched much on it, to be honest. That was a lot of fun. Um, it wasn't actually the proper premiere. It was um, like the UK screening. So there was no like red carpet or anything. There was a, like a few press bits, but like nothing too major, but it was, it was actually quite nice. I was actually quite tipsy, I'm not gonna lie. And I can't watch films for like very long. I can't remember the last time I fully sat down and watched a full film. Like genuinely, I can't do that. But it was a good laugh. And we stayed at the Riverside Plaza, which was lovely. It was right next to Big Ben and that area, Parliament, etc. Had a really, really lovely view and that was kindly gifted. So thank you so much everyone at Park Plaza because that was really, really nice and really special. But yeah, I just woke up this morning. I was up all night again. I think me and Anna Mae accidentally put the heating to 28 degrees. So we woke up in the middle of the night at like, I want to say like 2.33 and we were both like, why is it so hot? I literally, it was the middle of the night and I had to open the balcony door and just let fresh in, fresh air in. It was genuinely boiling. And then I woke up again at about 5.30, just feeling really sick. And that's probably because I probably drunk too much and I ate a massive burger when we came back. Oh, and it might have been actually because I ate raw chicken yesterday what happened oh yes we ordered some food i went for the chicken burger and murray went for the beef burger and mine came and the chicken was like raw i didn't want to make a big thing about it though but obviously i sent i don't eat it i sent i sent it back obviously but um i know these things happen but oh my god like genuinely yeah it, it was like raw which is not ideal and i never i don't really care about like obviously i care about eating raw food who doesn't but like i i'm not you know when you get them people that are like a bit over obsessed over it because they've had food poisoning before like it could be a ptsd thing or like just like just genuinely always check the food i never check my food it was just a lucky thing that i was like checking like looking at it do you know what i mean i could have eaten way more than obviously realized afterwards so that was good so i might have actually woken up at 5 30 in the morning second time because of that i don't know i did feel sick i wasn't sick though luckily but i did feel sick i managed to fall back asleep again oh, and then i got the train um my mum picked me up from the station and then i just drove straight to the village where the health center was and got the core fitted and it just can't can't tell you guys it was the best experience of my life well at least it's done and i mean I'm, i have to stop talking about it eventually do you know what i mean like i can't just talk about it for the rest of my life i will have to get over it but it was a lot and also I'm still in a lot of pain as we speak. But it's Friday night and I'm not doing anything tonight. Sorry, but like I actually have the audacity to post this picture. 
in a load. I have the audacity to post this picture whilst looking like this. Am I actually feeling all right? By the way, can we actually get over the hair? Like, Murray literally just smashed that. I have never had wet looking hair before. Never had wet looking hair that the wet look before and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's one of those ones though that you can't overdo. Do you know what I mean? I reckon you can't do it all the time, can you? I feel like curls you can do it all the time. If you did wet looking hair all the time, people would just think that you've got greasy hair. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, ladies and gents, tomorrow I am going to Manchester. I'm going with Club L London and I think I'm going to do that in a separate vlog. So I will continue. Um, I hope we go. I have to be in London at the Hilton Hotel at 2 to 3 p.m. Oh, we're going to Kitten Restaurant. That will be fun. I've never been there before. I heard that was a really good one actually in Manchester. I'm going to leave this vlog here because I'm spending the rest of the day chilling out. I'm with my mum's dog Bruno. This is Bruno. Bruno, do you want to say hi to everyone? He's a mix between a pug. Oh, sorry. He's a mix between, he's looking at me, he's giving me the side eye. You know that TikTok trend that goes side eye, side eye. He's a mix between a pug and a Westie. He's a bit special, aren't you? He's honestly the best dog. Look at him. He's the best dog in situations like this when you're just not feeling 100%. But anyway, guys, I will love you and leave you. Make sure to like if you like these cash sort of vlogs. Um, but yeah. I don't know when I'll next see you. I think it might be Lizzo. Who knows? But love you all so, so much and see you soon. Bye.